Welcome to the grammar, lesson 21. We have already learned two perfect tenses together. The past perfect and the present perfect. Let's learn the future perfect now. If you want to describe an action that will be finished in a certain moment in the future, then we use the future perfect. It is very often replaced by future simple, but you can use the future perfect. Tomorrow, we will have been together for 20 years with my husband. Isn't it amazing? So tomorrow, we will be together for those 20 years. It consists of will, plus have, plus past participle. Tomorrow we will have been together for 20 years. You can very often hear it with expressions like by then, by tomorrow, by 10 o'clock, with by. By the time you get there, we will have eaten everything, so don't bother, you don't have to go there. By the time you get there, we will have eaten everything. Occasionally, you can also hear the future perfect continuous. By the end of this year, I will have been working for this company for 20 years. Let's learn how to express your opinion if you agree with someone or disagree, if you have the same opinion or if you have the opposite opinion or attitude. I like bananas. Another person says this, like, I like bananas. And you say, oh, me too. Or you can say, so do I. I'm so happy. And you can say, me too, or you can say, so am I. If someone else's opinion is negative, I don't like apples, then your reaction can be, me neither, or neither do I. I'm not happy, and you have the same opinion, or the same attitude, um, me neither, or neither am I, or me neither, or neither am I. You can also have an opposite attitude. I like bananas. I don't. I'm not happy. Well, I am. There are so many ways how to express your agreement with someone. Let's check a few of them. So if you agree, you very often say, absolutely, or totally, or I agree. I totally agree. Um, I couldn't agree more. Or, sure. That's so true. Exactly. No doubt about that. I think so. And if you don't agree, you can say, I don't think so. I might disagree. I totally disagree. Absolutely not. No way. I doubt it. Not exactly. Not necessarily and many others. 
And now we can learn one nice phrase together. If you need someone to do something for you, you will not do that. Someone else will do that for you. Then you will use this expression. Have something done or get something done. I will have the roof painted by a professional. I will have my lock changed. She had her hair cut. So she didn't cut it herself. She had it done by someone else. They got the roof painted. That's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.